ni Buda Boss Live leo ni ndani ya Super Sunday kama kai mimi ni anka wako wa Power Buda Boss leo mti yangu mazejo tuko na vitu fine thank you kushia na wewe number 1 nataka mazejo tushia na wewe about how god speaks alright kausha ijuliza how does god speak tutakupatia insight kidogo number 2 pia leo mazejo tutakuwa tunaangalia the 10 worst countries in which to be a christian Gori design you know ma lakini kama K wacha kwanza leo mazee tuanze na our praise song of the week mazee joko na song ina ni bamba ya jama fry na jita Paul Clement hii ngoma mazee ile release about 3 or so years ago lakini ni a blessing to me and i believe it's a blessing to you inaitwa mazee amenifanyia amani Paul Clement amenifanyia oh. Kanifanyia amani Oh Amenifanyia amani Amenifanyia amani Kaondoa Uzuni yangu kanifanyia amani Nijapopita kwenye bonde Nia amani Kama ke mti yangu unaweza changamkia hiyo song YouTube mti yangu and I believe pia unaweza piga support hapo hiyo design ya Noma wamezeka kwa official platforms Lipa get your song wache kubariki imekuwa ni fine thank you Paul Clement amenifanyia amani what a blessing Kama ke mti yangu updates haraka faster Kuna festival ya power sana na come next month na nitawapatia more details in subsequent episodes but kuna kitu inaitwa Mavuno Kids Festival yenye na come up mti yangu ndakuwa na kuchanua na more updates about it in the coming weeks lakini ni something i believe inaweza kuwa fine thank you sana for wana watu wao wako na wadhi wako na watu wao wamefunga chuo na shanga form itakuwa ni gani kuna form ina come through na i believe kutakuwa na kibao sana November December nyenda kuleta up to speed uichangamkie. Wacha tuingie Mazee Jo Studio B kama K tuanze ku get news updates design ya Noma na leo tutaka kuongea about the 10 worst countries in which to be a Christian. Twenty cards. According to publication by catholicherald.co.uk, one of the 10 worst countries in which to be a Christian ziko as follows. Position 10, India. India kona 64 million Christians mtiangu lakini hawa thi wana make only for 5% of the entire population. Na kuna a militant Hindu nationalist group maze imedai wandaka kuona India iko free of any Christian by the year 2021. Therefore, Maze Joe amekuwa kilaunch attacks my areas mbili tatu kujaribu kwa accomplish his story, story moja sad kuruka. Position number nine, Iraq. Iraq iko na 800,000 Christians approximately. Lakini Iraq, Maze Joe, it is against the law number one ku hold a service ama ku produce Christian literature in their local language in itwa Farsi. Ukidandiwa mti yangu ni ngori kuruka lakini uh, wana wa Kristo wamekuwa loud ku practice Christianity in Iraq ni Armenian Christians na Assyrian Christians lakini wao wana face imprisonment ama hata kifo mti yangu wakipatikana wana share their faith with a Muslim position number 8 Yemen wanadai mazejo kuna thousands of Yemeni Christians lakini wako chini ya maji kwa sababu maze in Yemen Ukipatikana umewacha uislamu, punishment ni kifo mara that that. Position number seven ni Eritrea. Eritrea ikona 2.5 million Christians mtiangu. 
Hapa hivi mazejo wamekubali church tatu zikuwe registered. One of them ni Catholic church. Na anyone mwenye anajaribu ku practice faith yake outside of hizi church tatu mti yangu ana face possibility ya imprisonment ama hata forced labor design moja haikai. Position number 6 ni Sudan. Wanasema mazejo kuna approximately 2 million Christians in Sudan. Lakini mti yangu mazejo mti wote mwenye anaacha Uislamu kukuwa Mkristo anakuwa punished by death. Hiyo move mbe mti yangu ni punishable by death. Then the other thing mazejo wameka kitu inaitwa blasphemy laws. Zenye mti yangu kisema anything against Islam ama kitu wao wata consider ni against Islam. Mazee punishment ni mofa ya kuruka. Watu inabidi wanazama futi sita chini. Position 5 ni Pakistan. Hii report mti yangu inadai kuna approximately 2% ya the population ya Pakistan yenye ni Wakristo. Na huku pia mazejo wako na the draconian blasphemy laws according to statement yao. Na wanadai mazejo mti wote mwenye anashtakiwa ama anashikwa kwa uh, tuhuma eh, za kusema anything against the Islamic faith consequences ni dire. Lakini pia Pakistan wanadai kuko na open Uh, uh, discrimination wanadai manzejo kuna watu ni extremists to the extent kuna jobs fulani zinaitwa unclean so to speak na hizo ndio zimekuwa reserved for wa kristo habari ndio hiyo position number 4 position number 4 libya manzejo wanadai libya kuna watu wako permitted ku worship lakini majority of wale watu wako pale bwa as christians ni immigrants na kulingana na hii report wanadai kuna wana approximately 37900 uh, immigrants wenye ni wakristo huko blanda ni ati kuna extremist kuna ma groups fulani za wadhii zenye ni extremist na mazee wana carry out attacks on wale watu wameje identify kama wakristo but interestingly in libya wanadai mazejo ni illegal kukuwa pale na a bible that is in arabic or ukipatikana mazee una share faith yako na muislamu kwa mzee tumekuruhusu mazee ku wekuwa yourself lakini jiweke hiyo imani usikufika usi mahali unataka ku share hiyo imani na mtu mwingine at position 3 mti yangu ni Somalia Somalia mazee ngo riko Somalia ni al shabab extremists kuna rende fulani ya al shabab wameamua mti yangu wakikutana na mti yote anaitwa mkristo wanamu execute on the spot Yo story ni ngori kuruka. Position number two. At position number two mti yangu ni Afghanistan. Kulingana na hii report ya catholicherald.co.uk wanadai mti yangu that mti wote mwenye ni Muislamu akiwachana na Uislamu wa kwa Mkristo anaweza kuwa a put into a mental institution apelekwe mental ama anaweza kutua wo wa mnyuke haraka fasta na saa zingine pia mtu anaweza nyuria. So of course the fee ya pale ni mazee mti wote mwenye anataka kukuwa Mkristo kuna consequences serious za ku face uki try to make hiyo move. Finally at position 1 kulingana na hii ripoti habari ndio hii. At position 1 mti wangu anadai ni North Korea. North Korea kuna semekana kuna approximately 200 to 400,000 Christians wanyako pale. Kulingana na hii report wanadai about 50 to 70 thou wako kwa ma forced labor camps hapa na pale kwa sababu ya imani yao na ni hard na ngori iko pale mazee yenye nasumbua wadhini ni hawezi kuwa mkristo na una subscribe to a higher authority than the authority ya the Kim dynasty eh, the Kim dynasty ndio amekuwa in leadership North Korea for two or three generations sasa hizi mti yangu na mazee hao ndo decide u jamaa ndio the supreme leader. So mti wote anataka kukaa mpande akisema wait first kuna kuna kuna, kuna mtu mwingine tuna consider kiwa higher above ina ku predispose to ngori. Na point yangu ya kushare hii mti yangu is not a matter of kujua kama hii list mazee arrangement iko sawa or not. It's not even a matter of kuongea about a eh, tuneza I mean uh, how do we uh, 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 position ourselves kwa hii story ama nini point yangu is not even about the ranking is not even about uh, 
uh, history venye mtu anaweza kutaka kuipassive outside of the context anataka kuongea about but reason ya kushare hii ni to bring to a reality of several things number one, that kuna wa Kristo indeed in different areas of the world and sometimes even part of our country hapa hivi when you wanna face persecution in one way or the other i believe ni duty yetu kama wa Kristo ku stand in the gap in prayer maze to call on god maze za ku come through for how are they kuna places minyeti design moja noma sana ukishikwa kama mkristo tu eh, tu mazejo god have move in those areas yenye kuna high persecution why is it come kuona power ya god manifested kuna watu wanataka ku, kukuwa wa kristo lakini maze the price ya kuvuka ni ni high ni heavy maze to pray god our party strength our party grace our party courage our party njia kuhepa ngori number three, nime realizing kwa hii story kuna 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 places mbili tatu kuna particular restrictions ya kuweka bible in language watu wanaelewa and that's why nataka ku upload wazee watu wote wamekuwa kifanya bible translation ukuweka mazee bible in language what they wanna feel tuweza interpret kwa urahisi tuielewe because the word ya god watu wakielewa mti wangu iko na power ya ku transform design moja more fire and of course to sister how mazee kama wa Kenya never ever to take for granted the freedom of worship tuko nayo Kenya. Kitu na nibamba hapa hivi mazee ni Kenya tumeweza kuwa mabeshte na mti wote of any faith whether ni Muislamu whether ni Muhindi whether ana worship kitu tofauti tuko na freedom of worship fulani lazima tuweze ku safeguard inatupatia freedom ya kushare inatupatia freedom ya ku express our faith inatupatia freedom ya ku have discussions even na watu wako of different faith na ku challenge each other on those particular truths that we are holding on to and that is something to see why lose kama Kenya because your privilege watu wengi kwingine hawana wacha tuingie word leo tujiulize how does god speak back to studio a Buda tunajiuliza mazee how does god speak utajuaje mazee ni voice ya god nataka tu kushia tu inside kidogo na wengine maybe wanajiuliza huu god uongea kweli mbona mimi sijaisikia god mazee kwa hizi discussions 1 2 nataka tu kushia a few insights zenye zinataka ku lead wewe kwenda ku search more about his story ku learn more because there's too much to learn that atuwezi cover in this small and very short segment job chapter uh, 33 mtiango verse 14 kuna jamani inaitwa elihu ana respond to job job mzee asha asha pea na kesi yake ameweka mzee venye yeye ni righteous god mzee ameona tu kum, kum, kum ana mahanda tu na ana ngori so elihu mzee ana come to respond na kuna truth fulani u jamaa anaongea about hapa zenye zimeni touch heart nataka ku raise to our attention elihu anasema hivi 3314 for god does speak wase hapo god uongea mti wangu whether wewe una believer umski or not does not mean god aongee God does speak now one way now another though man may not perceive it number 2 mtiangu uh, verse 16 inasema hivi he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings buda kuna watu wamesikia the audible voice of god as in umesikia unajua hii ni mungu ni sauti venye nakuongelesha hivi na mtiangu kuna watu wa mazee wamepigwa tera ile wajaiona ndio god aweze ku save our the wasiende kwa hiyo direction anachukua ama aweze ku communicate in a particular way god anaweza ku speak audibly aweze kusikia sauti yake but which is the other way god anaweza speak verse um, 19 na nibamba inasema hivi or a man may be chastened on a bed of pain with constant distresses in his bones so that his very being finds food repulsive and his soul loathes the choicest of men Buda ni God anaweza kakuzungumzia through ngori ugonjwa circumstances blood whatever unaweza fikiria vitu zinakupeleka through a painful experience ndio kama kuna kiburi kwa maisha yako Buda unafika mahali unasema wow wow, wow God mazeni saidie wewe ndio unaweza nitoa kwa hii mess na sasa ile God ana kusave kwa hiyo mess una come back unasema kitu moja powerful mti wangu sikia hapa hivi venye 28 after all the verse and the 27 then he comes to men and says i sinned and perverted that uh, what was right but i did not get what i deserved uno jamaa mpitangori anaongea 
Then I come to Jesus and say, man, he redeemed my soul from going down to the pit and I will live to enjoy the light. Buddha, man, say, yani, God has come to me, Ngori, kuna watu, the only way wanaeza kusikia mungu ni through Ngori. Imefika mahali the only way unaweza sikia Mungu ni lazima udungwe kansa kwa mfano. Na sina ubaya na ama, ama anything na castigate on mtu akona kansa. Na pera tu example, unaweza pigwa na kansa mti yango. Iku reduce to a place unajua kuna something or someone greater than anything else uliko put your trust in. Ujue maze kumbe kuna God. Kuna watu that is the only way wanaweza come kusikiza God Kenya amekuwa kiwasho. Kuna three things nataka maze to take note of tukiongea about story ya how does God speak. Very important. Number one, God are you boxed in one way of speaking. Sisa how? Anaza speak in one way to somebody else, in another way to another. Or even wewe mwenyewe leo God anaza kakuambia hivi na kesho akuambia in a particular way. Wewe sema mimi Mungu ni ongesha katuna ndoto peke yake. Kama sijaota, mm-mm, huyo si Mungu. Ah uh-uh. And you must be able to know who can understand God and to speak in different ways. Then you will say, how do I continuously identify this is the voice of God? Kuna watu wote nilipoe, of course in chaisha hii story before. Na maybe unaweza kuonesikia mara first. Eh, kulikuwa na jamaa anaitwa Branham, msaujina wake ya first. Oh Branham mazeni jamaa, story yake ni nyeti. I think I can mention the leader of the Kuwaile list ya God's generals. Wale watu walikuwa na the highest or greatest power and move of God kulingana na our times zile vitu watu wameona. Na huyu jamaa alikuwa analetewa physical messages na angels za kupreach. Kabla ingia kuhubiri, the angel of God ana kama na mdunga message anaenda na anahubiri. Siku moja Satan who masquerades the angel of light akakam akampatia message tofauti. Eh? Buda wana to around him anamwambia bro hey mzee hii message leo kuna feel ka kitu akauliza watu nani hapa shey ile tewa physical messages na angel in fact wangapi hapo wameona angel eye to eye aka dismiss na jamaa hivyo ndali kuna tangent utaji wa show god anaweza speak to you in one way leo kesho speak to you in a different way what is important is not the format but the content That brings me to point number two when you're trying to determine is this the voice of God or how does God speak? God will never speak outside of his word. The written word to konayo mutiangu ina tupatia particular limitations za kufanya tukue very clear on whether or not this is the voice of God. Anoda nuambie, kama we ni mtu wauna the, wauna word in your heart, au so me word, Buddha even the same word ineza tumika kukuingiza ngori. Satan akikuja kutempt Yesu alikuja na word. Akimwambia Buddha it is written. Eh. Hey, Jiondoe huko tuone kama nyasi itakuguza mti yangu. Then aka reply na another script akimwambia it is also written mti yangu. Awezi eka the Lord your God to the test. In other words kuna mtu anza chukua scripture aitoe out of context akukoroge nayo akufanye ufanye kitu ya maajabu that has nothing to do with what god intended in the word wewe kama ujui word utajitetea aje utaji defend aje utajiondoa kwa ngori aje mtu akikuja kuambie the lord has spoken to me i look at you my brother and i feel the lord is saying give the house give the house give the house buda wewe unataka kuconfirm aje kama hii ni word ya god ya ukweli written word the last thing god speaks with the consistency of his character we know that god is redemptive nikisoma hii job 33 mtiangu hata sasili ana speak terrifyingly hata sasili ana bring those painful circumstances his intention is redemption god is a redeemer mtiangu as you seek to study more about how god speaks and indeed he does speak the place where you can start is by simply reading the written word of god soma yelewe internally obey if you can obey that which is written then you can be able to one identify that which is spoken or revealed and you can still be able to easily obey it all right so tell me what you're about to do now word of the week or segment tunaita cool and end of 
at least mazaita kupatia wadi kukuchangamisha second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 in a Bagwani most high haja tudunga spirit ya kekuoya. Lakini ya power, love na mind haja fiatux. Kama ke, like, follow, share, subscribe. Wache tujengane design moja five. Thank you. Ame nifanyia amani. Paul Clement. Ame tubariki.